iFriends Ansible Automation Platform 2.5 is generally available today, 13th September 2024. In this video, I'm going to cover the major update and I will create more content in the future. First of all, big shout to the web UI. I really like uh, this component that is actually an API proxy based on the open source Istio project. If you're familiar with Kubernetes, it basically aggregates all the API call under a single component. So the authentication, authorization, and role-based access control now them are managed under a single component. This also simplifies all the enterprise authentication, so you don't need to copy and paste in controller, automation hub, even driven authentication. It makes a lot of sense, especially in design. Uh, this is a great component. I want, would like to create uh, some resources dedicated only for this. Uh, there is a new automation calculator that uh, suggests how you can optimize your jobs in your infrastructure. I really would like to test it out to see if the ROI is uh, correct. Um, if you're a newcomer to Ansible or Junior, this feature, Ansible Quick Start, is going to be for you. So this will be a new panel under your AAP, so that's going to guide you through the uh, instruction. It's a kind of like a help step by step. Mm -hmm. It's 2024, generative AI is everywhere, and uh, Ansible Automation Platform has its own. It's called Ansible Lightspeed based on IBM Watson X Code Assistant. This is the latest release that includes also the generation of a full Ansible playbook. So I'm pretty excited to test it out. And uh, it is supported also in uh, on-prem deployment. So if you are in an air-gapped environment, you can use this feature. Really excited if you are a developer. Also, this Ansible development tools package that combine under one single umbrella many development tools. So, Molecule, Linter, uh, Ansible Navigator, all together. Great if you're creating Ansible resources. And finally, we have one single package. Um, interesting uh, use case also for event driven Ansible that uh, they're expanding even more. Uh, integrating GitHub, ServiceNow, and GitLab uh, out of the box. Uh, it's interesting to see that finally we have like a credential manager, RBAC plus SSO, thankful to the web UI. <clears throat> you can install the platform today, directly downloading from your Red Hat customer support, customer portal. Um, new, you can install on-prem use on cloud deployment, uh, Microsoft Azure, Amazon Web Service, and Google Cloud Platform are supported, as well as upgrade from previous release. There is a lot of interesting things, so I'm really curious to see the upcoming webinar. So thank you, L Universal, Product Marketing Manager of Red Hat, for this article. I took a look also on the release note and Something that catched my eye attention was that uh, RPM-based installation will be decommissioned soon, moving to a more like a container deployment. So very interesting that I think uh, altogether this uh, release is a great platform for that to innovate and accelerate Ansible Automation Platform, combining altogether new and interesting foundation uh, model, especially on the design, the web UI is creating an integrated uh, authentication suite, uh, as well also this container deployment. I have a feeling that uh, the <clears throat> leadership of the Ansible automation platform would like to do, um, will accelerate, uh, especially the release on new features. Uh, so there is a plenty of documentation that I really would like to read, uh, and this stuff is just released. So I'm really curious uh, to deep dive on this release, test it out on my laboratory, and then get back to you with my impression. Thank you for watching, and follow me for more. 
let's automate more. Bye.